The sun is rising on one of the last days of summer for students here in Bedford. They return this coming Thursday, but the district is still trying to fill 75 positions, including custodians and school bus drivers. But the real focus right now is on paraprofessionals. They help special educators and classroom teachers, oftentimes working one on one with students. Bedford Superintendent Michael Fournier says they have a number of openings right now over at the high school and there's no initial training or or degree required. We want to be as flexible as possible. And so if you're one of those people out there, they're like, you know, I can only really commit to like three hours a day. I can't really be full time. Um, just call us and we'll see what we can do, because what we really want to do is make sure we have people who uh, can work with kids, have a heart to do it. And we want to be as flexible as we can to make sure our kids get the services they need. And now the district is holding two informational sessions later this week and early next week for people interested in applying for those positions. Meantime, as we take a live look over Manchester this morning, the superintendent in the Queen City is expected to make a proposal during tonight's Board of Education meeting to increase the district's minimum wage in an effort to recruit and retain staff. Now, if that is approved, the minimum wage would increase to $15 per hour. Reporting live here in Bedford this morning. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.